expressing deep respect to the representatives of the families of martyrs present Ilham Liukan with his condolences and emphasized that they sacrificed their lives in the name of motherland. Adding that in the early 90s, as a result of the Armenian Azerbaijan Nagorno Karabakh conflict, Azerbaijan suffered many thousands of losses, more than a million people became IDPs, the head of state noted that part of our territories was occupied during that period. Today, thanks to the powerful military potential and the growing capabilities of Azerbaijan, our positions in the negotiation process have significantly strengthened, President Ilham Liyev said, and stressed that restoration of the country's territorial integrity is the main issue. Added that the numerous resolutions adopted in connection with the conflict provide international support to territorial integrity of Azerbaijan. The Azerbaijani people and the state will never reconcile with this occupation, said the head of state and underlined that a great deal of work has been done for army building in recent years, accentuated that people affected by the war are surrounded by the state care. In recent years, over 100 villages have been built for the IDP's new apartments are being given to persons from this category and this process will continue this year. President Ilham Aliyev pinpointed that martyr families are also provided with houses and cars. Recalling that his first decree after the last year's presidential elections were related to the strengthening of social protection of the martyr families, the head of state said that this decree provided for allocation of one-time assistance in the amount of 11,000 manas to 10,000 martyr families. Added that this process has already begun and more than 3,000 martyr families have already received these benefits. President Ilham Liu said the issue of the families who had received benefits in due time was studied and taking into account the discrepancy between the currency rate at the time they received the payment and the current rate, signed the new decree, according to which the number of families who will receive 11,000 manas has increased. Then the head of state handed plastic cards to the heirs of the martyr servicemen to be used to receive one-time assistance. Mother of martyr Ibadat Aliyev, father Shirvan Nusratev, widow Verzer Aliyeva and heiress of a martyr Sevinch Kulzadeh thanked President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mehriban Aliyeva for their attention and care. Stressing that it's an honor to serve the people, the head of state noted the current dynamic development in the country, the implementation of large social projects as a result of the successful economic policy. He said that the main goal was to improve the social conditions of citizens. Focusing on the programs implemented in this direction, President Ilham Liev emphasized the strengthening of the military potential. Allocation of large funds for these purposes noted that two military parades held in Baku last year once again demonstrated the power of Azerbaijan. The head of state said that Georgia Kumarjan village had become a symbol of our inflexible will. Its restoration was made possible by a military victory, stating that the April battle showed the whole world that Azerbaijan is a strong state and the country has a strong army and Azerbaijani people will never put up with the occupation. President Ilham Liev thanked the families of Mahdis who brought up such wonderful sons for the motherland, stressed that our people are proud with Mahdis who will live forever in our hearts. Attention and care for the families of Martyrs is one of the key priorities of the political cause pursued by President Ilham Aliyev. Today, 6,654 apartments, 6,144 cars have been allocated to citizens of this category. And just last year, 626 apartments were handed out. This year, at least 800 more apartments will be allocated to such citizens. The amount of the presidential scholarship to the families of martyrs, war invalids and national heroes have been constantly increased, and a monthly allowance for their children was provided. Every year the social protection of families of martyrs improves, and the actions undertaken by that of state in this area are always pursued by society with great enthusiasm and satisfaction. The first decree signed by President Ilham Aliyev after winning the presidential elections in 2018 was in this direction. This decree, which provided for one-time payment to the families of martyrs, should be perceived as one of the most humane steps serving to improve the well-being of citizens of the country.